Greetings humans, spinning mantis here with the next episode of Paradigm Adventure Game. Thank you for joining me. So, when we last left Paradigm Alien, beats Doug. These are clearly just toy dials stuck on with Bootick. They're toy dials. The measurements on them are multis. I don't think I can use this for much. But on the bright side, our multis reading is off the scale. Occupational health and safety says anything less than three layers of duct tape is unsafe. But I like to live wild and only use two. That's my mailbox. Almost always filled with online shopping regret. Hey look, they have new mail. I... uh, what? Another mailbox? I guess I'll put it in my inventory. Right. Got a mailbox in our inventory. Hello mailbox. Hello, reminder of online shopping regret. Hello, mailbox. There used to be a call to get inside somewhere around here. Then the game designer realized it was a terrible puzzle. He had better things to redesign, like poop jokes. John used to be active out here, but uh, I disabled the module because he kept telling passers-by to graffiti the phrase Paradigm sucks balls. Something many people don't know about the Messiah, he had some sick hand styles. Hello Jesus sick hand styles. <laughs> I don't really want to use his style. And in Cory's almighty wrath. Okay. Telegram graffiti. God damn it, Lucas! Stop spraying your intellectual property on my property. Hmm. Maybe I should use it. I wonder how long it would take before I get a cease and desist. All right. Miniature Unicorns Fighting Flying Pugs Power Station. Naming by public vault is uh, never a good idea. Or is it the best idea? I'm not sure. <laughs> so if you've ever listened to a Blue Moon on uh, Twitch, he kind of sounds like this guy without the European accent, but the, the tone and the cadence is the same. It's really interesting. If you're ever on Twitch, check out Blue Moon. Yeah. Is mostly Overwatch, but just lots of variety too. To pay rent, uh, Doug sells his beatbox beats. Pretty good. Too bad there's like five people living here in Krush, and all of them are on government support. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if this was actually the good voice. This not oh, his real name. I was never blessed with beatboxing lips, but I was blessed with smooching lips. There, well, that's a lie. Yeah, that's a lie. That's Doug. He is a beatboxing eggplant. He likes to think he is from the vegetable patch of Biggie Smalls. I just think he is an asshole. Hey, Prosofinos. What's up, Brolicious? How do you stay alive? Photosynthesis, bro. Do you know much about the Space Cadet? Who? All I know is that he is the local drug addict. Godolf Wakeney, 47 years old, uncomfortably apparent fetish for boxes. I guess that's him. Mm, I don't know much about him, really. Except he keeps asking for drugs in exchange for his boxes. Also, also blowjobs. 
Lots of blowjobs. Ah, uh, yes. Excuse me while I drown myself in a pool of bleach. Did you consider the blowjobs? If I wasn't a drogonist, I would probably consider it. It gets awfully lonely out here. Uh, what kind of drug addict? Uh, I think his drug of choice is space dust, I think. What the hell is that? Some say it's mines from the moon, but really it's just remarketed crack. <laughs> I need to know where I can find him. Well, if you find me a map or something, I'll hook you up with the deeds. <clears throat> Let's have some fat beaties. Do you mind dropping some fat beaties? Okay. <laughs> feel to be a vegetable for the rest of your life. I'm actually disgusted you'd make that joke, but if you're serious, it feels pretty nutritious. <laughs> How's the hustle going? The rent's due soon, and I've always wanted to try sentient eggplant. Come on, man, give us a break. There are literally only five people living here. All of them crazy. Except for you, of course. What do I need to give you again? Hit us up with some sort of map and I'll hook you up with the dates to space cadets. Alright. Later. Peace, bro. Wow. Doug. I like Doug. Doug is pretty cool. Radioactive sludge. The gift that keeps on giving. Terrible lifelong illnesses. There's a manufacturer of face moisturizer that pays top dollar for this stuff. However, it is not the time right now to make that sweet side money. Alright, I uh, keep going off the bottom of the map. So... Is there anywhere we can go? I think the boiler would contain something important for running the power station, but really it's just filled with liters upon liters of vodka. Vodka. Being this is a puzzle game, I would prefer to stay sober. Okay, so... I can't, the buttons are just stickers on the box. Sometimes I'm amazed that I haven't died already in this power station. So... We flipped it... Almost everything? The hobo from the red room also like to smear things outside. You'd yeah. think it would help here, but this spot has never been the same. Radioactive sludge, the gift that keeps on giving, terrible lifelong illnesses. So, that's it. I do suppose there'd be an arrow if we could actually walk off this. So maybe there is a map back inside. I need to give Doug some sort of map first. 
There must be something around here. Okay. That's my mailbox. Almost always filled with online shopping regret. Sure isn't any mail left in here. Alright. Hey, there is something else in the second mailbox. Oh, a third mailbox? I've had enough of your games, Babushkin mailbox. If there is another mailbox in here, I'm going to uninstall the game. Hey, there is a postcard in here with a bottle of vodka. Pashevsky's vodka. The only vodka to guarantee 60% of your daily nutritional needs and a 50% chance of unemployment. Plus, the postcard map says to press the letter M or use the slide up menu to use the map. Weird. Places we're going to travel. Later, peace, bro. Right. I have this uh, Krush postcard. Will this work? Yes, I think that will work. You can find him in the bottom right in uh, Kurch Forest. Also, one last thing. Don't be surprised if he's not wearing pants. Cool, bro. So can we fast travel there? Yes, we can. Okay. The sign says, please be aware of occasional satanic rituals in the forest. And more importantly, always remember to recycle. Open bracket. Satanic rituals aren't actually satanic. They are just info sessions run by a guy named Satan. Close bracket. Then how would people know how to recycle without summoning Beezlebub? Ah! You old crash plane in the forest trope. Wait, there's a sticker here. It says, Nicky Nax replica crashed aeroplane. Their motto reads, If you have a lot of money, you might as well spend it. If I could, I'd use it to fly out to a much better adventure game. Maybe something like the new King's Quest, or some new Wedgedite game, or even Delta. They got pretty good stuff going on. I don't know, something like that. <laughs> I do like uh, child head games. Press for Kings Super Spooky good. Crash Plane Edition. Skelly. Yes, very spooky. Skelly. Skelly. <laughs> Hey there, Skelly. Ah, you old crash plane in the forest trope. Wait, Nicky Necks, their motto, if you have... Hello, jungle trope. It's a toy rocket which has three settings. Atmosphere, space, and... Pleasure? <laughs> it seems to be some sort of a rare artifact, possibly from the copyrightous infringements era. Legends say that the archaeologists who found the artifacts received the curse of cease and desist. Is that the uh, Ocarina of Time? Is that what he's referring to? I can't carry around nostalgia. I hope he doesn't mind if I take it. <laughs> like stealing candy from a comatose man who happens to run a candy shop. 
truly an interior designer genius. He uses cardboard boxes for storage and furniture. Groundbreaking. I can't use pop culture references in gameplay. I'm already pushing it as it is. It's a toboganizer. Sort of like a personal digital diary. Compulsory to all citizens of Krush. It's not even plugged in. And wow, there is at least four rats living inside. With what seems to be a little couch and studio lighting. Also a last track? Fancy. Space Cadet also seems to be transfixed by it. It's a rare arcade game which explains the intricacies of interplanetary love with lasers. Mm. Hello, arcade. Oh my, it's a glitching tree. In Krush, it's considered good luck. Nothing like contemplating if your life is a computer simulation. Hello, mildly disconcerting glitching tree. Some strange stuff happens out here, man. Like the conversion of sunlight to create energy. Autosynthesis is some crazy messed up stuff, man. Hey, I used to own this. I actually had the high score, causing me to be both a terrible and broke electronic musician. Okay. Can't if only there. the whole world had access to you, game. Prejudice against interplanetary love wouldn't exist. It looks like some sort of uh, spherical spaceship. <laughs> Sorry. It looks like some sort of uh, spherical spaceship. Sorry. Hello? I'm pretty good thanks and you? Wow, that is nice to know. Tell the wife you're welcome at mine anytime. What a wonderful comatose man. I need to divert his attention somehow. Hello, spherical spaceship. I am not really ready for mouth says. Space dust, please. I'm actually impressed someone so wired can even write that. Garbod science. Is there nothing you can't do? Looks like some sort of a space observatory. However, on closer inspection, it's just a washing machine bowl attached to some large PVC piping. <sighs> Locked. Besides, I don't need to go inside to see more priceless box furniture. I'm not sure that's how advertising works. Toddler baby mid banking. Huh. 
locked. Besides, I don't need to go. Earth got to distract. By now, I should have cut Space Cadet's power, but that would mean I would lose my high score on Planet Love. I can't ever let Pin 24 beat me again. Pin 24. I swear that uh, Moon Moon must have voiced this. No way. I'm afraid to touch furniture so expensive. Alright. Those are metal mushies. Unlike their hallucinogenic brethren, they simply make you headbang and mush for days without getting fatigued. The only side effect is really swall traps. Swall. <laughs> Hello, metal mushies. Hail Satan. <laughs> I don't need any headbanging drugs right now. Besides, I require long hair and a black metal band t-shirt to use it to its full potential. It's a forest, forest, witching tree. So, so we miss the metal mushies. Cardboard box. Just a piece of paper and the keypad drawn on with crayon. This is cutting edge technology. High tech keypad security drawn on with crayon. Compelling burglars to go back to art school. Pretty effective. <laughs> I'm very intimate with crucial safety standards. And to be honest, I would like to stand at least two meters from any cables at all times. Normally this outfit combination would be atrocious, but the moon shoes really bring it together. <laughs> Rocket and vodka. I don't think that's how rockets work. If I post this online, I could probably get internet points for it. Sorry, Red Family. Your conveniently timed jokes will have to wait. Hopefully this gets his attention. Hey! That infomercial was just about to tell me how to grow an extra arm! Guaranteed! You truly are a monster. What kind of facial product are you using? Your skin looks great. Gorgolowitz facial wipes. Thanks for asking. Your outdoor area is amazing. Where do you get your ideas? Oh, it's nothing. Just a little something I saw on AC Magazine. Phonetically known as RC. What does the AC stand for? Addict chic. The real innovators of fashion. Yep, they made poor hygiene sexy again. Was it ever? To a fashion pleb like you, probably not. What's the hottest conspiracies this week, Space Cadet? Planet Earth's president apparently wanted to grow up to be a talking car. Slow week, huh? Not at all. He just got surgery to replace his arms with wheels. He died. Oh, right. Apparently, they are now recycling his body into real car tires. It's almost poetic. Would you happen to have the recovery disk for Derp OS uh, 3.1? Would you happen to have space dust? No. Then I have no idea what you're talking about. If I get this space dust, will you give it to me? 
<laughs> I'd also suck. The recovery disc will do fine. I'm flattered regardless. Can you at least uh, prove you have it? Is this it? Well, that's a classic. Still relevant <laughs> after 50 years. No, it is not. Uh, what about this one? Oh, Jesus. No. That is creepy. I'm not sure I want to ask how you got that. Maybe this one? Yes. Give it to me. Not until I get some of that sweet, sweet, I can't believe it's not sugar. Don't you mean space dust? Yeah, whatever. Same thing. What is uh, space dust? It's uh, space exploration in uh, powder form. Do you ever get to see any aliens? Yeah, but they are total dicks that don't pay taxes. Except for Florgan. He's alright. Why do you take space dust? To escape the monotonous routine of everyday life. The pain I feel from past unrequited love. The harsh reality of human emotion and life. Wow. That's quite profound. Maybe I've misjudged you. Thank you, Talking Peach. <laughs> You're not so bad either. For a delicious fruit, make sure to tell Banana he still owes me 20 bucks. Are there any side effects? Uh, blurred vision, you also turn into a metaphorical elephant, and sudden combustion. That's a pretty big one. Hasn't happened so far. Obviously. Frankly, I'm not sure how I'm alive most of the time. Uh, where can I find space dust? You can cook it yourself. It's a meticulous process of gathering rock samples from the moon. Be wary of the man on the moon, though. For reasons I don't want to get into right now. And then I forget the rest. Alternatively, you can get it from your local family drug dealer for the lowest prices. Guaranteed. Mainly because he murders all the competition. A true businessman. If it's uh, that simple, why don't you go yourself? Let's just say I had too much space dust. And let's just say I thought I was a rocket ship. <laughs> and I tried to launch myself off the top of his mansion. And, of course, rockets don't need claws. Anyway, now I'm not allowed to go there anymore. Is there a specific amount you need? Infinite, please. I don't think that's possible. <clears throat> if you look into your heart, Paradigm, you can do anything. Except maybe win a wire loop skill tester. And find happiness in life. Inevitably regretting your decisions upon your deathbed. Can you show me where the drug dealer is at least? Yeah, alright. Do you have a map on you? Will this postcard do? I think so. Go to this place here. The little house on the mountain in the middle. <laughs> Bring me that powdery heaven. I've already got the suppository prepared. Uh, uh... Then you can go on a spiritual journey with me to uncover the dark secrets of Krush. New original conspiracies? Yeah, want to hear about it? Long live the lizard people. Listen here, P. Diddy Diggum. Paradigmy guy. Ever wonder why there's only like five or six of us living here? Vague memories of childhood? Unexplained scars? Large hemorrhoids that are impossible to get rid of? Obvious listening devices? Now, I won't know for sure till my next drug induced coma. But I'm pretty sure that. We're in Alien Zoo.
we are all a part of a reality TV show called Paradigm's Life is Nothing But Misery and Regret. Valid. However, my theory was that we were teenage mutant cutie boys who accidentally fell in the radioactive ooze, thus giving us amnesia. Entering the period <laughs> relevant catchphrases. Now they are keeping an eye on us so we don't fight crime. Yours works too. Let's uh change the subject. Kawabungu! <laughs> I might need to leave now. The stench is too great. See you later! <coughs> All right, that's going to be a good place to end this episode. If you're enjoying Paradigm, please like the video as you're watching, subscribe to the channel, share with a friend, and join me next time. That's going to be all for now. Spin Man's out. Namaste.